The devil is a skillful liar, and we cannot expect him to stop at words in his lying. He will resort to lying signs and feelings and experiences in his attempts to shake us from our faith in God's word. Let me make it clear that I do not deny the reality of the flesh. Indeed, we shall have a good deal more to say about this further on in our study, but I am speaking here of our being moved from a revealed position in Christ. As soon as we have accepted our death with Christ as a fact, Satan will do his best to demonstrate convincingly by the evidence of our day-to-day -day experience that we are not dead at all, but very much alive. So we must choose. Will we believe Satan's lie or God's truth? Are we going to be governed by appearances or by what God says? Whether I feel it or not, I am dead with Christ. How can I be sure? Because Christ has died. And since one died for all, therefore all died. Whether my experience proves it or seems to disprove it, the fact remains unchanged. While I stand upon that fact, Satan cannot prevail against me. Remember that his attack is always upon our assurance, and if he can get us to doubt God's word, then his object is secured, and he has us in his power. But if we rest unshaken in the assurance of God's stated fact, assured that he cannot do injustice to his work or his word, then it does not matter what tactics Satan adopts. If we resort to our senses to discover the truth, we shall find Satan's lies are often enough true to our experience. But if we refuse to accept as binding anything that contradicts God's word and maintain an attitude of faith in him alone, we shall find instead that Satan's lies begin to dissolve and that our experience is coming progressively to tally with that word. It is our occupation with Christ that has this result for it means that he becomes progressively real to us on concrete issues. In a given situation we see him as real righteousness, real holiness, real resurrection life for us. What we see in him objectively now operates in us subjectively, but really to manifest him in us in that situation. That is the mark of maturity. That is what Paul means by his words to the Galatians, I am again in travail until Christ be formed in you. Faith is substantiating God's facts, and faith is always the substantiating of eternal fact, of something eternally true.